When I started as a publisher, I was very young, so I didn't really know what the rules were. So it was a question of doing what I believed in. And if that broke the rules, then so be it. My name is Margaret Busby, and this is my story. In terms of creativity, I think everybody should be free, liberate their minds. You know, just go where their inspiration, where their feelings take them. That's how I live my life. I think as a publisher, you have to be conscious of the fact that you're operating not just a business, an art, a craft, but it's also a question of enriching literature. I was looking for things that I connected with, and in many ways that was to do with the fact that there were books written by people of colour, black writers, whom I had not had the, the chance, the, the joy of reading throughout my formal education, so that they were part of what I wanted to publish, part of what I connected with. And I think what is important is that the publishing industry as a whole has as, has as many different sorts of people within it, so that the whole literature is enriched. People say I've had an impact on in the industry, but I'm not quite sure what that means. I, I certainly know that I've been there as a presence, as, a, as an African woman within the industry before a lot of other people. And I hope that has really influenced people to think, well, if I'm there, they could be there as well. But beyond that, I don't think that I'm aware of having had a particular impact apart from the fact that people can phone me up, I can help people, I can pass on information, they don't have to make the mistakes I made. Because when I started, I was very young, I knew nothing, I had no money, I had no experience, and yet, half a century on, I'm still here. I'm not actually in terms of being a publisher doing the same as I did, but the fact that you're interviewing me shows that something has lasted. So, I pass that on. I think anyone entering the industry now has to feel that they deserve to be part of it. That they're not being there to tick any boxes, to represent somebody as a favour. That they, their opinions are valued and valuable and can actually have some influence on what is published. So that's, that's what I need to pass on to anybody. Just feel that your opinions are valid we all have a part to play and we can all contribute in a very meaningful and rich way to make what is published more relevant to each and every person who is a potential reader. The pandemic, COVID, has certainly changed things for everybody, for all of us. I think it's made us all think very carefully about connecting with other people or not connecting with other people. And the fact that the, the sort of elevation of the Black Lives Matter movement happened during that COVID-19 epidemic is also important because perhaps that'll mean that what is published, how people see each other, will be improved, will, will never be as toxic as it has been in the past. There'll be some movement. We won't be stagnating in things that have not got us anywhere in the past. So let's hope that out of this pandemic, we will find better ways to relate to each other, better ways to relate to each other's stories. And with luck, the world will become more interesting, more tolerant, less combative, and we'll all live happily ever after. Ha, ha, ha.